Viricidal efficacy of povidone iodine gargle slash mouthwash against respiratory and oral tract pathogens. Recent virus epidemics and rising antibiotic resistance highlight the importance of hygiene measures to prevent and control outbreaks. We investigated the in vitro bactericidal and viricidal efficacy of povidone iodine, PVPI, 7% gargle slash mouthwash at defined dilution against oral and respiratory tract pathogens. Methods PVPI was tested against Klebsiella pneumoniae and Streptococcus pneumoniae according to Bactericidal Quantitative Suspension Test EN 13727 and against Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronaviruses, SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV, Rotavirus Strain WA and Influenza Virus A Subtype H1N1 according to Viricidal Quantitative Suspension Test EN 14476. PVPI 7% gargle slash mouthwash was diluted 130 with water to a concentration of 0.23%, the recommended concentration for real-life use in Japan, and tested at room temperature under clean conditions 0.3 g slash L bovine serum albumin, BSA, viruses only in dirty conditions, 3.0 g slash L BSA plus 3.0 ml slash L erythrocytes, as an interfering substance for defined contact times, minimum 15 s. Rotavirus was tested without protein load. A greater than or equal to 5 log 10 99.999%, decrease of bacteria and greater than or equal to 4 log 10 99.99%, reduction in viral titer represented effective bactericidal and viricidal activity, respectively, per European standards. Results. PVPI gargle slash mouthwash diluted 130, equivalent to a concentration of 0.23% PVPI, showed effective bactericidal activity against Klebsiella pneumoniae and Streptococcus pneumoniae and rapidly inactivated SARS-CoV, MERS-CoV, influenza virus A, H1N1, and rotavirus after 15 s of exposure. Conclusion. PVPI 7% gargle slash mouthwash showed rapid bactericidal activity and viricidal efficacy in vitro at a concentration of 0.23% PVPI and may provide a protective oropharyngeal hygiene measure for individuals at high risk of exposure to oral and respiratory pathogens. Antibiotic resistance is rising to dangerously high levels worldwide. Oral and respiratory tract infections caused by bacteria such as Streptococcus pneumoniae and Klebsiella pneumoniae pose a particular threat because of the rise of antibiotic resistant strains, with vulnerable patient populations at high risk of infection. Seasonal endemic viruses such as influenza are another significant cause of respiratory infection. Worldwide, annual influenza epidemics are estimated to result in about 3-5 million cases of severe illness and about 250,000-500,000 deaths. In addition to seasonal endemic viruses, emerging and re-emerging virus outbreaks such as severe acute respiratory syndrome and Middle East respiratory syndrome coronaviruses, SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV, require close contact for human-to-human -human transmission and can spread nosocomially. Unlike the remaining four coronaviruses, which are typically associated with mild, self-limiting respiratory illness, SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV cause severe respiratory symptoms and are associated with considerable mortality. There is no vaccination or any specific antiviral treatment available for SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV. Outbreaks can, however, be quickly and effectively controlled with preventive strategies based upon early accurate viral diagnosis knowledge of the current epidemiological season and effective hygiene practices to decrease the risk of transmission. Effective hand hygiene minimizes transmission of pathogens from contaminated hands of an infected individual through either direct person-to-person -person contact or indirectly via contamination of surfaces. Respiratory pathogens such as influenza are also transmitted via airborne dispersion of small particle aerosols, less than or equal to 5 m when an infected individual breathes, coughs, or sneezes, while respiratory syncytial viruses, SARS-CoV and MERS-CoV can be spread by large droplets propelled through the air and inoculated into the eyes, nose and mouth at close range. Considering these modes of transmission, oral hygiene by gargling, together with hand washing and mask use, 
may be beneficial to help minimize the risk of both community and hospital-acquired respiratory infections. Gargling is also deemed to bring about favorable effects through removal of oral-slash-pharyngeal proteins that helps viral replication. Effectiveness of the antiseptic agent in killing pathogens is paramount in selecting gargles-slash-mouthwashes for protective hygiene and can be achieved by ensuring that antiseptic agents pass a standard bactericidal or viricidal activity test. A rapid action is also desirable as the length of time that individuals are willing or able to keep the product in the oral cavity is limited. Povidone iodine, PVPI, is a broad-spectrum antimicrobial that has been used in infection control and prevention for over 60 years and is available in various preparations for use as a disinfectant for the skin, hands, and mucosal surfaces, as well as for wound treatment and eye applications. PVPI has well-established general antimicrobial activity, demonstrating in vitro efficacy against gram-positive, gram-negative, and some spore-forming bacteria, Clostridia, Bacillus species, and mycobacteria and a wide range of enveloped and non-enveloped viruses. Recent in vitro studies have demonstrated rapid viricidal activity of PVPI products against Ebola virus, MERS-CoV and European reference enveloped virus modified Vaccinia virus Ankara, MVA. Considering the proven in vitro efficacy, Gargling with PVPI may be an effective method of preventing the spread of respiratory viruses when an individual is contaminated by the airborne slash droplet route or after uptake via the mouth, such as when touching the mouth or food with contaminated hands. The benefit of gargling with PVPI has already been noted in Japanese clinical respiratory guidelines. This study investigated the in vitro bactericidal and viricidal efficacy of PVPI 7% gargle slash mouthwash against relevant oral and respiratory tract pathogens based on the European standards EN 13727 and EN 14476. In this study, the viricidal and bactericidal activity of PVPI gargle slash mouthwash was evaluated within a short exposure time, 15s to reflect a similar or shorter time than the actual gargling time in real-life conditions, since the length of time that individuals are willing to keep an antiseptic product in the oral cavity is limited. PVPI oral solution at a concentration of 0.23% was effective against all pathogens tested in this study after the minimum contact time of 15s, regardless of protein load, except rotavirus, which was tested without protein load. Pathogens are eradicated by the active moiety, non-PVP-bound free iodine, being released into solution from the PVPI complex, penetrating the cell wall and inactivating cells by forming complexes with amino acids and unsaturated fatty acids, resulting in impaired protein synthesis and alteration of cell membranes. This basic mechanism of action leads to strong microbicidal activity expressed by multiple modes of action that include the disruption of microbial metabolic pathways, as well as destabilization of the structural components of cell membranes, causing irreversible damage to the pathogen. The results of this study suggest that the use of PVPI gargle slash mouthwash may be a useful protective measure against oral and respiratory tract infections. Indeed. Following the H1N1 swine flu outbreak in 2009, Japan's Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare recommended daily gargling as a protective hygiene measure to prevent upper respiratory tract infections URTIs, a practice supported by findings from studies that examined the role of gargling in both healthy individuals and those with frequent or persistent URTIs. Limited clinical studies have been performed that used PVPI gargle slash mouthwash to reduce the incidence of respiratory infections in different settings. Shiraishi and Nakagawa showed a mean reduction rate in bacterial count immediately after gargling of 99.4% for PVPI in volunteers, compared with 59.7% for change and 97.0% for CPC and a significantly lower absence rate due to URTIs at a Japanese middle school where the use of PVPI gargle was encouraged compared with schools where PVPI gargle was not used. In patients with chronic respiratory diseases, gargling with PVPI was found to reduce the episodes of infections with Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, including MRSA, and Haemophilus influenza by half. 
Studies of prophylactic use of PVPI gargle in patients requiring intubation have also shown significant reductions in oropharyngeal bacterial counts. Oral hygiene using PVPI may be of particular benefit in certain patient groups such as immunocompromised patients at risk of prolonged virus shedding, which can increase the potential for resistance to antiviral drugs and for nosocomial transmission, patients with influenza to reduce the risk of secondary bacterial infection, that may appear, e.g., as otitis media in children and thus avoid the need for antibiotics, and possibly in hospitalist patients to prevent the spread of influenza. During high season, the safety profile of PVPI is well established. In contrast to other antiseptic agents, PVPI oral care products do not lead to any irritation or damage of the oral mucosa, even with prolonged use. Although measurable systemic iodine absorption may occur with the long-term use of PVPI, its clinical manifestation as thyroid dysfunction is not very common. A limitation of this work is that the clinical relevance of such in vitro test results remains unclear and needs to be supported by further investigations to evaluate the impact of gargling with PVPI in real life and clinical settings, although for ethical reasons, clinical studies involving highly infective and dangerous pathogens may not be feasible. Furthermore, our testing was limited to a few key respiratory microorganisms. We selected Streptococcus pneumoniae as the main cause of community-acquired pneumonia and meningitis and Klebsiella pneumoniae because, although not a common cause of respiratory tract infections, it is an emerging cause of multidrug-resistant nosocomial infection. In addition, these species represent both gram-positive and negative bacteria. Although our study did not include other common bacterial pathogens causing pneumonia such as Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Haemophilus influenza, and Acinetobacter baumannii, the efficacy of PVPI against these pathogens has already been demonstrated in previous studies. Conclusion In conclusion, our study results, taken together with, 1. Recommendations for gargling with antiseptic mouthwash for the control of oral and respiratory tract infections, 2. The rapid bactericidal and viricidal efficacy of povidone iodine, including PVPI gargle slash mouthwash, against pathogens causing oral and respiratory tract infections observed in other in vitro and in vivo studies and, 3. The established safety profile of PVPI from over 60 years of use, provide a strong rationale for the use of PVPI oral solution for protective oropharyngeal hygiene management for individuals at high risk of exposure to oral and respiratory pathogens.